Hi and welcome to another Dex from the Graphic Design School. My name is Leanne and today we're going to be doing some packaging. We'll be creating a background in Photoshop and then applying the designs to some packs in Adobe Dimension. So on the screen now you can see um, a pack with a background design. Um, the brief here is to create uh, three bottle designs that are for an environmental agency to depict the three different environments um, uh, that need protecting. So we have one for desert, ocean, forest. So you can see how each one has got um, the colors of that environment. And I'll show you in a moment in Photoshop how we got those beautiful colors. And then um, we'll take them through to Adobe Dimension, as I said earlier, um, play around with different angles, different lighting. Um, but just to show you what they look like flat, there's the desert. Um, there's the ocean, so you can see these stunning colors coming through that depict the different environments and forest. So the way we created these backgrounds is in um, Photoshop. So if we open up Photoshop, you'll see here I have three images. Um, all three come from Unsplash. Um, this one is from the photographer Alexei Marchenko, and it shows the ocean, beautiful pinks and blues coming through there. This one, the desert scene, is by Sergei. Pasteroff, and this is by a Vietnamese photographer called Tran Antoine. So I'll show the credits in the brief um, for this deck so you'll be able to get the same images or you can just source your own and you'll see how we create these beautiful streaks of color um, just from one image and how they reflect the different environments. So what I try to do is find images that have different colors happening from the top down to the bottom um, and we're just going to be using a few pixels wide to create the streaks. So I'm just going to increase the size of that one a little bit. And then just using your selection tool, um, it's it's a bit of trial and error. So maybe just um, start in a section and I'll just drag down. And what you want to get is um, a, just a few pixels wide. So I've got a set of cent centimeters. You can see as I'm dragging down, you can see my width and my height is in centimeters. We want to have it as pixels, so let's just go units and rulers and make sure that your units are set to pixels in your preferences and go OK. And let's just try that again. So we'll just grab some color here. So you can see I've got 13 pixels. I'll try and drag it down as much as you can, maybe five pixels, maybe a little bit less if we can. And that's good enough. And then I'm going to go Command C to copy, Command Copy and then Command V to paste. So you'll be able to see my layers now that I have a little bit of a sliver over here in this layer one. And then we're gonna transform that. So go Command T to transform it. Um, and then we're just gonna drag it across one way, drag it across another way, and go Enter. And there we go. And if you're happy with that, um, you can do a Save As, and we can call this one just create a new folder, new images, and we can call this one Ocean, and just save it as a JPEG. Press save. There we go. And then we can go to the next one. And this one has got some dark areas here. What I've noticed, if you don't want very black areas coming through, try and choose a section where you have the lighter colors coming through. So again, I'm just going to drag them down five pixels good enough go command paste and then command T to transform and just drag it across one way drag it across another way and there we go one of our beautiful colors if you're happy with your colors or just try another selection and transform that again and this one I'm happy with that so I'm just gonna go new images and call this one my desert And then our last one is our forest. Um, so again, depending on where you select, I want to get some of this bright green coming in. So I'm going to drag down from the top down to the bottom. Make sure your pixel selection is quite small. That's good enough. And go Command Paste and then Command T to transform that and just drag it across one way, drag it across another way. 
And if you're happy with your colors there, they look pretty awesome. So we'll go save as, and again, we'll save that as a JPEG, and we will call that forest. And then you can place these um, in your Illustrator document. We have that, so just place it, and then um, you can set your type, or perhaps these are going to be drink bottles, so you don't really need to have type on them. Um, this is just Myriad Pro, set at 12 point, um, Myriad Pro Bold. So I've just set them um, on a rectangular A4 size um, for the different um, labels. And then once you've got them placed, you can export them as JPEGs. So um, just go File, Export, Export As, and use your artboards and select the range. So my range is um, Three, four, uh, it's four, five, six. So go four, two, six, and just save your packaging as JPEGs, and go export. I've exported mine here already, um, and then you can. We'll be using them in Adobe Dimension um, when we get there. So there are your beautiful backgrounds created, and now we'll just go into Adobe Dimension. Create a new document. Um, so if you haven't seen the Adobe Dimension tutorial in the decks that was created a while back, um, just have a look at that to familiarize yourself um, with the different tools, just the different um, transformational tools here, selection tools here, and then the tools at the bottom here are basically the camera angle tools, so rotating, panning up and down, moving side to side, and then perspective. And this is your scene here. So I'll take you through just applying that design um, to our picture plane over here. So we can start with the background if you like. Um, our background's great at the moment, so um, I actually would like to just bring in one of the images um, and select a color from there, but we'll just make it blue for now. And then we're just going to use the round bottle over here. So looking at your assets, um, they are your models, uh, there are the different materials you can apply to your models, there's lighting you can apply, and there are also images you can um, add to the background. I also have my graphics here that are in my Adobe library. I haven't put my images in my Adobe library this time, I'm just going to pull them in from my file. So with my um, model selected, I'm just going to get a round button in and the round bottle will be placed in the scene. So the, this tool over here, V, is your move tool. So it just moves on the X, Y, and Z axis. So you can move it towards you or just click in the middle to use all uh, the axes at once. And we can just center it. Um, you can also scale your bottle. So maybe you want to have a, a taller bottle skinnier bottle, wider bottle, and then as you scale you can you can have a look what's happening here in your scale um, menu. So if you want to bring it back to its original size, we're just going to lock it and make it one for everything. Oops. Oh, it seems determined not to scale it in proportion now that I change it. So you can bring the scale back to one for everything. Um, and then, um, what else? Rotating, we won't be rotating for now. Um, and then this is just panning around your scene, rotating around your scene. So select the kind of view you want for your bottle. Um, moving up and down, further and closer away. And then looking at your environment, if you want to change your the size of your document, now's the time to do it. Um, at the moment, mine's 1,000 pixels um, high and 768 pixels um, high. Oh, sorry, the width is 1,000 pixels. So 
we're going to bring in our, our label now. This is my working tablet. Um, so to bring it in, um, we're just going to select the, the bottle. We're going to find our label. So there I have my different labels over there. I'm going to select my bottle. And you can just drag your um, artwork in and place it on top of your bottle and it will load it and then we're going to scale it up so it immediately gives you a circle. Um, this is the rotation um, little handle at the top here we don't want to rotate it we just want to scale it up so you can just click and hold on your, your shift and just scale it up. You might want to move it down a little bit and we'll work on lighting in a moment. There we go. And once you're happy with your placement, you can click OK. Um, just looking at some of the variables here. Um, so you have your environment, you have your round bottle. We're going to call that ocean straight away. So we, when we bring in the other bottles, we know which one's which. You can also change the uh, material of the lid of the bottle. But we might, might want to just change the, um, the bottle material. So we have, or rather, the lid. So we have the lid there, and you can select that, and your lid material is there. On the right here, you'll see the base color is a bit of a gray, but I'm going to change the surface to a metal so it becomes really shiny. And then I'm going to change the base color to something uh, that I can select from the bottle color. So I'm going to use my eyedropper tool there and I'm just going to select a blue and then do the same with the safety ring. So the safety ring is a little goodie um, just below the lid. So I'm going to make it metal too so it has the same reflective qualities and I'm not going to really change any of the um, anything else but you can play around with the, um, the glow, the 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 metallic, the roughness, translucency. Um, I might just play with the environment lighting here. So if we put on our sunlight, just click over here, you can change the intensity of your sunlight to make it brighter. Um, if you don't want such a strong highlight, you can make it more cloudy so you can see how the highlight um, gets softer. Um, the ground plane, let's just have a look. Shadow opacity, so if the shadow is too dark, you can just bring it down over here. And then you can also change the direction of the sun. Um, so maybe we'll just keep it like that, get a little bit brighter. Great. So once you're happy with your bottle, um, then we have our ocean bottle. We're just going to duplicate it now. So you can um, select the ocean, you can copy and paste, or you can hold down Shift Option and um, so just hold that option and just drag another one across. There we go. So this one we'll call Desert. And we'll do exactly the same thing. Um, we'll just find our Desert Environment image and drag it in. Now it will tell you that only one decal per material, so just go OK. And it will um, replace it. And then we're just going to scale it up so it fills our label. Move it down a little bit. So also note if you've not worked in Adobe Dimension, the um, the resolution will be a lot better once it renders. There we go. And then we can do exactly the same with the um, with the material for the for the lid. Wrong one. Desert. Yep, the lid. So we have got a metal there. Um, we want to change the base color so it reflects maybe the purple at the bottom at the top of the label. So again, we just get the eyedropper tool and we select the purple and do the same with the safety ring. Select the greeny color and select the purple. Perfect. And then um, then we have our desert and we're going to do exactly the same thing. Just copy it across. And you can move your packs obviously, not up, move them back, and 
and our desert, we're going to change that to forest and do exactly the same thing again. Uh, we're going to replace that decal, so select your bottle, find your forest environment and drop it in. It'll tell you only one decal per pack, so that's fine. Scale it up. Get it in position. Great. And then just position your camera so you're happy with that. And then a, a cool trick to use. So we want to have a kind of a, a front-on view and then you might want to, well let's just save this document, we're going to save it as um, new packs. So you have it saved. Um, just a few tricks over here. If you want to save a view of your packs and then maybe have a few different renders of the same packs, um, over here, this will be our default view, so we can save that and um, maybe we want to try something else where we, um, we rotate the view and we get to look at the back from a different angle um, and then we can save that as a new view, we can just say top right and so you can switch from um, straight on view to top right view and render the different views. So we can save that to, and you can play with a host of different angles. Um, maybe you want to have some more space, maybe you want to rotate and have them look really tall. So we can save that angle to um, bottom left. And we can save that. So when it comes to rendering, you can render your different views. There we go. Um, and when it comes to rendering, you can have a quick look over here. It'll give you a preview render because once you get into rendering, it does take a little bit of time and you might have to go and make yourself a cup of tea as it renders. So it'll give you a quick preview. You can also make it um, bigger if you want to, but it will not give it to you 100% as it will render. It will render a whole lot better, especially if you go the slow and good quality. I'll just close that for now. So once you're happy with your packs and you want to start rendering, you can play with your lighting still. Um, but if you're ready to render, um, pick the view you want to render and then we go to render. Um, the options here are quality, low and fast, which are obviously it'll render much faster but a low quality, high and slow, which is what I normally do. So it could take 20 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes to render a good quality image or medium. Um, give your uh, file a title. So this would be um, packs bottom left. So name it according to the view because you're going to be naming a few and um, maybe I'll just go low and fast just to get it started and then um, we might look at putting in that other background. So I'll just push render. I'll choose PSD. It'll give you layers also um, that you can work with with the, with the shadows and separating the pack from the background in Photoshop. So that's pretty good to select. And your location. I'll just go desktop and then press render. And it will start the process. So um, it should go pretty fast um, because we've got it on low and fast, but I wouldn't recommend it for portfolio work. Rather go slow, high quality, and um, you'll get some really beautiful um, results then. So we might um, just, uh, I'll cancel the rendering in a moment, and oh well, there it goes. Pretty quickly when it is rendering low and fast. But we'll cancel that and go to design. I'll just go OK. So if I wanted to check, um, save my, my other view, I can change my, my view and just render or default view. So if you want to create that bottle lying on its back, um, we can just click off forest 
and click off desert and I might do a save as um, because I'm going to be changing it quite substantially um, so what we want to do is uh, place this uh, design that's in the background um, on the background <laughs> the actual background and then have the pack lying flat so again I'm just going to grab my um, my environment and I'm just going to drag it into the background and it will copy it and then I want to rotate my pack so it looks like I'll just go OK to match the environment this is always a good idea it applies the lighting that you've applied to your pack to the background whoops I accidentally put in my label which has the word ocean there um, just let me see if I've got that um, I think I'm just going to put in replace that with just the background without the packaging name on that there we go and again match the lighting and then I'm going to just rotate my pack so that um, lying flat so you can play with that you can see it sinks into the background um, into the actual background so that's okay then we're just going to change it so that we can look at it from the top so using your cameras there we go um, I'm just going to move this down a little bit. Maybe you want to scale it up. Oh, we want to rotate it a little bit. There we go, so we can see ocean in the middle. You can again just play with your environment lighting here, so you might want to. Um, rotate the sun, increase the intensity. If the highlight is too strong here, you increase the cloudiness. Although um, what you see here is not exactly how it will render. So you might have to do a little test render to see um, if the lighting is matching um, what you would like to do. And that's pretty much it. And so once you're happy with that, um, again, you can just play with your um, my angle so I'm going to add this one as top view yeah, let's just have a out of interest see what happens when we look at it where it was <laughs> some really amazing um, things you can do so that looks pretty good and once you're happy with it um, again you can just save it and then go to your render and just go low, low and fast and then we'll just call this top view it will still have your original view there of the one you did before and then just go render and it will ask you if it can discard what it had there before and it will work towards creating your new render which will save in Photoshop layers so I'll leave you there to explore um, a really lovely technique to create colors and a color palette for your packs um, please, please feel free to upload whatever you create. I'd love to see what you do with your photographic images and you can apply those um, backgrounds to any kind of packaging or any kind of layout. Um, it's just about creating these beautiful colors um, really quickly for whatever design you're doing. So that's all from me and from Dex. Till next time, goodbye.